Capricorn, what's up? It's your girl Cap. We're going to do your weekly reading right now. And at the bottom of the deck, it's your card. It's the devil. All right. Some kind of toxic behavior there, possibly. All right. Let's see what we have. So starting out the reading with the Ace of Cups. This is, uh, you see the hand outstretched here offering this cup, which is just overflowing with love and emotion and feelings. The little white dove at the top indicates peace and harmony. So a beautiful, uh, very fulfilling connection heading your way. Needing a break or time out with the four of swords there, just like really stressed out. Here is uh, the Knight of Cups. So the Knights are offers. So yeah, definitely some kind of relationship on the way towards you, some kind of love offer. We have the three of wands. It's about planning the Hierophant. That's long term. And a solid happy home life here with the four of wands. It's a solid foundation. So I feel like um, possibly you or your person are planning like marriage and home life here. Then we have lost regret and disappointment. Followed by the emperor been there, done that, bought the t-shirt. He's a wise, older gentleman, a lot of life experience, been through some stuff. People look up to him. He's very influential. And then the king of wands. So he's very like sexual, a lot of like passion, very uh, magnetic, fiery. Could be a, a fire sign there. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. All right, so let's unpack some of this. Looks like some kind of a relationship headed your way. Uh, definitely some kind of stress, needing a break, planning, possibly family and marriage planning, disappointment, loss, regret, wanting to make wise decisions, be mature, and some kind of like sexy, magnetic person here. All right, let's see what we got. So, the Ace of Cups. clarified by the 10 of pentacles so somebody here definitely has like home marriage family like locking things down on their mind um i think somebody's definitely like planning marriage and family home life here needing a break with the four of swords feeling defeated about something so there's some kind of a situation that you've been giving a lot of your um energy and attention to feeling like you're pouring pouring yourself into it and trying to attack it from different angles but no matter how you do it just isn't working out for you and you're getting really exhausted and worn out trying to find a solution to whatever this is here's an offer of love and that's the page of cups so the knight of cups is the page of cups that's moving backwards you know what I mean? It should be from the beginning stages to the offer, but we're going from the offer to the beginning stages. So there could be some kind of a setback or somebody had a change in their feelings. Planning, it's a new beginning. Somebody's planning some kind of a new beginning. The Hierophant that's going long-term, marriage, walking away from what doesn't make you happy anymore. Hmm. Solid, happy home life here is a second chance. So I feel like for some of you, you are already married. I feel like you were already married and you had this really great life built with this person. But there's just something that you can't work out. Like, no matter how you try, you can't work it out. And it's got you feeling like, you know, defeated. Like, I've done everything that I can. I'm just exhausted from the effort. And possibly walking away from it. Feeling like you, you've invested everything that you can. But there is a second chance here. Loss, regret, disappointment, and the Ten of Cups. So 
So I feel like your your happiness, your overall happiness and feeling of being emotionally fulfilled has just really been knocked for a loop here. That's the emperor. Been there, done that, bought the t-shirt. That's the wise older gentleman, right? Very influential. Ace of swords. I feel like maybe you're going to have a talk or a conversation because swords are communications as well. I feel like you're going to have a talk or some kind of conversation with an older gentleman who's going to give you like, or an older person, who's going to give you some really great insight and kind of like open your eyes and give you clarity and possibly help you see things from a perspective you didn't see before conversation. balance okay so I feel like there's something who's very sexy here gets a lot of attention has a lot of admirers probably has a huge following on social media uh, it's very sexy you know uh, they probably get hit on all the time and I think that that could have something to do with whatever happened here um, but there has to be some kind of a balance to that there has to be boundaries set um, because I feel like you you feel threatened by the constant um, attention that this person gets. You feel like it threatens your home life, your stability, your, yeah. <laughs> your connection, right? And here's the devil. So this is toxic behavior. So this person could maybe like, they could have lust issues or, you know, a sexual addiction, addiction that's messing up your home life. It's a beautiful connection. You guys love each other very much, obviously here. But I'm picking up Capricorn that you've, you've given all that you can to this connection and feel like you have to walk away from it because you just, you may have even already tried to give it a second chance and you just can't, you can't be happy with this person. But I do think that you're going to have some kind of a conversation that's going to bring you a lot of like enlightenment regarding this situation. All right. The devil's at the bottom. <clears throat> so what is the outcome of this reading for Capricorn? What's the outcome of this reading? A new beginning, fresh start. So, <laughs> somebody here is an equal match. I think that you get just as much attention and you're just as attractive. Here's things being restored and being brought back around. Happiness. There's that happiness you wanted and couldn't find with this person, okay? So you will find it. It's coming back around to you. But I think it's going to be a new beginning with somebody else, unfortunately. I think that this person just does not have the balance or the boundaries set to be in a successful relationship. I feel like they get too much attention and they entertain other people. And I think that's the problem. You know, it's one thing if your, your inbox is blowing up, if you're not, you know entertaining it but i feel like your person's entertaining it and like welcomes it so that's kind of a problem <laughs> all right let's do some more cards here. yeah i feel like you've given them several chances you might be on on like a, another chance right now and you just can't seem to to get it to work no matter what you try but there is a lot of love here. But I do feel like your feelings are changing from the constant roller coaster, you know? I feel like we went from this offer of love here, wanting to be in a relationship and a, and a connection to, you know, your feelings are kind of diminishing. This person I feel like has put you through a lot, Capricorn. And there's always admirers. There's always like, you know, date with my glasses
Get back out there, meeting someone new, setting a date, date online. So I just said, I, I do think that there's a new beginning and that you're gonna find happiness again, but it's not gonna be with this person. I do think that you'll meet somebody else who's better suited for you, who doesn't entertain every woman on the planet or man. This one jumped. Ship, cutting ties, moving on, receive what you need, progression and arriving, yeah. I think you're definitely gonna be leaving this behind you, Capricorn, uh, for something more secure and stable and somebody who's not so lustful. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that's what I have for you for this week. I hope that you like that. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I would love it if you hit that button and join the family for me. I'm um, trying to grow the channel right now, so your support is like super important and so appreciated. Um, so I guess that's it for now. So until next time, Capricorn, take care. Bye.